Hello, it's Game Doubt Gamer, and I wanted to address some misinformation or misperceptions going on with the EVGA ACX cooler design. This should apply, I know it applies to ACX 1.0 on the new 900 series, NVIDIA 900 series, but also the ACX 2.0. The only difference between the two apparently is the fan design. The actual cooler here is the same and here's the concern and it has to do with the um, GPU making contact with two heat pipes and not three. Let me give you a bigger image here. You can see clearly that yes, the GPU is making contact with just two of the heat pipes. Now here's the problem. The people are saying that this is flawed and it should make contact with all three. This is baloney and I'll tell you why. The third heat pipe, here it is, the third heat pipe is not sealed. It's not really a functional, fully functional heat pipe. EVGA has said, well, that the addition of this third heat pipe gives us additional um, two to three degrees Celsius. That's their statement. But you can see here at the bottom in the middle, uh, these three heat pipes are sealed and closed off. But this third one here, the short one that doesn't make contact, is not properly sealed. Now the other two you can see at the end are properly done. So this is this is how it's designed. It's proper. It does cool the GPU fine. Does a good job. Okay, it may not be the best cooler out of all the options, but right now these cards are hard to find. And I think if you picked up an EVGA card because it was the only one available as I did, because there were five at the store. He said, we have five, we just got them in. I said, I want two. <laughs> so there are, con here's another, p oh, here, first, here's a picture of the Asus Strix cooler. And as you can see, all three, now these are smaller, these may be small, I'm not sure of the millimeters here, but they all three do make contact. So it's understandable to make that mistake. But that third heat pipe on this cooler is not, um, not it's not sealed so it would not be good to you can make to adjust the cooler to contact all three now here's a statement from EGV, EVGA uh, on the screen here um, so they say they the cooler has an additional 40 percent of headroom so it, sh it should be plenty now um, there are concerns with these cards the, the EVGA uh, 900 series, but the cooler is not it, and I've written them down here to make sure I cover them because I. All right, so the real concerns are the uh, is the overly aggressive fan curve. So the ca the cards are loud, and the reviews have reflected that. You look up the reviews, and you'll see. Don't take my word for it. It's a louder card. Uh, although one site ch tested 39 decibels. Um, but it's, it has an overly aggressive fan curve, and here's a statement according to, uh, it's a hard, e, uh, hard forum, they have said they're going to put out a new firmware to address the fan curve. Here I've selected the part of the text that is a quote that, you, that is relevant here. This is not a fan noise at is issue, but is a more of an aggressive fan curve set default by the BIOS. The fan curve can be easily adjusted in the Precision X or any other overclocking software. We have heard the concerns and will provide a BIOS update to reduce the fan noise during idle. I guess they're no, during idle at least. So um, I've set a f I've set a custom fan curve. And it works fine. The cooler seems to be working. I don't get any green artifacts as if anything's getting too hot and I monitor temperatures. Now there's another concern with these cards and that is coil wine. It's uh, under load. You can, if there are um, components on the card that uh, can give off uh, audible sound and uh, now, it didn't happen on my two cards, but apparently there are reports or rumors, but you can find them here. I think it's in this th thread in hard forum. You'll find it uh, where people, there are a lot of people, more than more than half the people in the thread who have the card said, I have coil wine on my card. And that means basically is that the card is using not not substandard parts, but just not high quality parts. The, um, for example, the Asus Strix card, 
they used high quality components above specification and that helps now the EVGA the good thing is EVGA has great customer service apparently they have the best in the of the NVIDIA vendors and uh, they offer a three-year warranty in the United States and a five-year warranty I think in the European Union you'll have to check on that for yourself and they do I, they, they have responded to my inquiries I, I asked um, s several questions over the years and they respond they do seem to have good customer service unfortunately the ASUS or ASUS I think it's pronounced correctly pronounced ASUS the, apparently the rumor or going around the internet is I think even in this forum thread ASUS has bad customer service they have great construction the quality of the of the, their products is great it's just that their customer service if you do have a problem apparently they're one of the worst <laughs> um, and I think that's not it's not always been like that I think it's become that way I don't know how long ago so um, there are other options to to these brands I think the gigabyte and MSI cards are rated very well the coolers and their component cards in general but you know as supplies on these cards may become even tighter because the reviews of these cards are good on release day people weren't sure and then the people catch up on reviews it can actually be harder to get a card um, now than it was on release day or you know a few days after release day because pe the rumors are going around that these cards are awesome it just takes a while for word to spread and who knows how long this will happen so in my opinion if you're in the store and you see one of these EVGA SC uh, or EVGA cards just uh, like what I did I bought a two-year replacement policy at the store for I think it was fifty dollars each card and I know I'm going to use that in two years I'll trade in these cards and I'll get dollar for dollar value but just you know you still have the EVGA support uh, I think it's fine go ahead and buy it if you get coil wine work with EG EVGA support and they I think they will replace the cards and they should release a BIOS again to reduce the fan speed hopefully not just idle anyway you don't even have to you can set it here in um, let me see if I can do show it to you in the EVGA Precision X on my fan curve here that I've set to reduce the noise um, takes a second to load fan curve here it is I don't know if I can how big I can make this you might need to zoom in on the screen so I have um, up to 30 it just stays at 40 percent right 30 degrees Celsius spins at 40 percent then we have at 50 degrees it, it bumps up to 47 percent fan speed then all the way the next uh, notch is at 80 degrees it goes up to 53 percent fan and 80 degrees here is the um, target temperature let me bring that fan curve up again oh anyway you have, have to bring it up again uh, that's the target temperature and then I've got it set to 90 if it gets up to 90 degrees there's a really steep curve after 80 degrees at 90 degrees it kicks the fan up to 70 percent so, and in between you know it does the whole line so if it gets it to 82 degrees it's going to be you know more than the 80 quite a bit more than 53 percent so it really gets steep and then at uh, the last step I have for the fan curve is at uh, 95 degrees it will boost it will jack that fan up to 99 percent that will be loud that's intentional because it shouldn't get that hot so that's a safety measure you never want the fan to get um, this GPU to really get over even over 90 degrees really and yeah I mean although the cards may the chips may be rated to go up to 110 or something like that um, I don't know the exact number but really you don't want them you don't want to, them to get too hot especially over a longer period of time because it's not just the chip that's rated for heat it's also the card the PCB and the other components um, <clears throat> life may be lowered by operating the car too hot so you know the 
EVGA didn't put out a custom fan curve for everyone. They would be nice if they would <clears throat> they would do that. So we're kind of doing this at our own risk. But I think this is this fan curve is safe. But it's only my opinion, and you need to do your own work to figure out what a, this is probably a better fan curve than this. But this is what I've set up. So uh, anyway, there's the couple other tabs. There's all right. Well, thanks for watching. Please like. I think it's about all I have to say on the issue. It's uh it's it's been overblown. Thanks, this is Game Dot Gamer. Bye bye.